Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mountain. Thank you for checking in. So this is our 2023 Premium Goggle Buyer's Guide. We have a lot of great premium goggles from great companies. There's a lot of cool colorways, a lot of great options. And it can be hard deciding when you're trying to invest in a premium goggle, which one's gonna be best for you. But I'm just gonna give you a couple important details about each one of these that might help steer you in a good direction. We have product spotlights where I go into full detail. You can read product pages, but my goal is just to give you some good rider feedback. And also don't take my word for it, go read ride reviews. All right, that being said, first up is the Oakley Air Brake. Now this goggle is pretty expensive, depending on what colorway you're looking at and the lens options, you're coming close to 200 bucks. And it's not got the best anti-fogging situation because the, the foam is pretty thick. So in colder conditions, when you build up some body heat, it tends to fog up a little faster than most of the other goggles. But here's what I love about the Air Brake. It's my favorite fitting goggle it's just the most comfortable goggle when I put it on. It feels like it's got the best fit for my face and the best, one of the best lens changing systems. And that's something that Oakley kind of revolutionized the goggle market with when this first came out more than 10 years ago is their switch lock lens technology makes it super fast, super easy to take a lens out, clean it or swap out lenses depending on you know, what the lighting conditions are. So that's been my two favorite features about this. I love the fit, I love the lens changing system and you just get really good peripheral and just overall vision. And then next up you have the Havoc Infinity. Now the Infinity is a pretty unique looking goggle and what stands out about this one is that it is the fastest, easiest goggle to take a lens off and put a lens back on. And the way they do that is with their, mag their magnets. So there's magnets on the lens, there's magnets on the frame. So literally you just can pop a lens off, pop it back on there. Super fast, super easy. So if that's important to you, then this is the goggle that I would tell you to go look at. Now the only drawback is that there are no outriggers on this goggle. So it doesn't, depend on what helmet you have it on, sometimes we just don't get the best seal around our face when we have the Havoc on. But again, best lens changing system goes to the Infinity. Now next up is the Liat 6.5 Velocity. Now this goggle for me just checks off all the boxes. Great peripheral vision, it's a comfortable goggle, they got a lot of cool colorways. Their lens changing system is really good. And then you have their lens which they really brag about how it's military ballistic impact standard. So it's got great protection for your eyes when it comes to roost. And what's cool is that Lee is the only company where if you look at their 8.5 and 9.5 helmet, and if you buy one of those, it will come with a 6.5 velocity goggle. So if you're looking for a helmet, you can get that, get a matching colorway for the goggle, and you basically get a goggle for free. But if you were looking at the 6.5 velocity and wondering, you know, is it a good goggle? Should I get it? I would say absolutely. There's nothing that I can really complain about with this goggle. It does everything well. Moving on from there, you have the Scott Prospect. Now the Prospect to me, two big things that I love most about it. I love the look. I think it's just one of the best looking goggles no matter what helmet you have this in. And it's very lightweight feeling. I just like how light the goggle feels when you have it on. And also too, the sweat management, you've got these little dimples on the foam. And I just feel like this foam does a great job of absorbing a lot of sweat. So if you're a big sweater when you ride, I'll tell you to check out the Prospect. Now the only drawback to the Prospect that I've noticed is that with the fit, I've noticed that depending on what helmet I'm wearing these with, I feel like the foam does pinch my nose a little bit, but that's totally subjective to me. Other riders might not have any clue what I'm talking about, but super lightweight, very comfortable, great vision. That's the Prospect. And then you have the Fox View. So the Fox was developed with Ken Roxon, and this goggle sits right behind the air brake as my favorite fitting. It's got a very similar fit, in my opinion, to the air brake. So super comfortable goggle. And one thing about the view that to me kind of stands out is I just feel like with this one on, I feel like it just gives me the most overall vision. I feel like my peripheral vision side to side is really good, up and down. I just feel like with the shape of this frame and how they did it, just vision wise, it's one of the best that is out there. The lens changing system's pretty good. It's not one of the best that is up here, but it's kind of unique. You actually twist the outriggers to get the lens off and pop it back on there. But again, really good fitting. One of the best overall vision goggles that is out there. A lot of cool colorways to choose from. And then last but not least, you have the 100% Armega. Now with this one, if you're a big sweater, it's pretty unique what 100% did here. So you look at their face foam, and kind of like the prospect, you have these dimples that are cut in, but what's unique though is that they have a gutter that runs atop the, the frame. And so when you sweat a ton and you really saturate that foam, the idea is that your sweat will go into that gutter 
and drip out the sides versus going into your goggle. And I'm gonna tell you right now, a pet peeve for me is when I'm sweating a lot, it's hot, and sweat's dripping inside my goggle, gets on your lens, and you can't see very well. This is built to help combat that. So it's an awesome looking goggle, good lens changing system. They've got their hyper lens technology, which is there to help improve contrast. My only drawback to the Armega is that being how thick the foam and just the overall goggle is, I just feel like the Armega doesn't give me the overall peripheral vision that a lot of the other goggles up here have. But aside from that, it is really, really good. And that's it. That is our 2023 Premium Goggle Buyer's Guide. I know I was short, I was sweet, just trying to give you the key things that I like and that stand out about these goggles. Go watch the product spotlights, go read rider reviews, leave your questions or comments down below. What goggle do you have? What do you like? What do you dislike about it? And we will help get those questions answered to help you get your next pair of goggles. But to grab yours today, click the link or head to RockyMountAtVMC.com. As always, you know it, we ship for free over 75 bucks. If you wanna stay up to date on videos like this, get subscribed, hit that notification bell, and that way you always stay up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.